everybody, it's me, Miami, and I want to address, got my little handy dandy paper. Please excuse me, I wanna make sure I'm on point with these stats, okay? I wanna discuss Black America and us as, an, as, a, as a race amongst the United States and how we are leading in all categories when it comes to HIV and AIDS and nationally. We're leading in females, we're leading in males, we're leading, we're leading in youth, we're leading in adults, we're leading in um, all age groups, by the way. Black America, we make up 12% of the population. Out of all the HIV cases in America, we make up 44% of all those cases. All the females who are infected with HIV, 62% of that number are black females. So 40% of all men are black men. 25, 34, number one group leading in numbers of HIV. All of my fellow, what is that, the 80s, the 90s, is it 90s? No, I think it's all 80 babies in there. Maybe some 90s, I don't know. Anyway. So the second group leading is our babies 13 to 24. Our youth is our future. We have to get to them right now. So with National Youth HIV and AIDS Day coming up on April the 10th, I wanted to shed some light on their numbers. Out of all youth in America, 63% of the youth numbers at ages 13 and 19 are black Americans. 20 to 24 um, years old, we are 55% of all numbers in that age group because really the youth is from ages 13 to 24, but I kind of want to just break it down by those two age groups just to show, you know, where they're at in their lives. So let's talk about AIDS in America with Blacks because again, HIV and AIDS are two different, two different things. And I have another video that explains HIV and AIDS and what's the difference. Like, out of all AIDS cases in the in United States of America, we are 48% of those cases, male and female combined. And AIDS for the youth, Black Young America, is 68% total of AIDS numbers. 68, 16, and 7. It's very staggering. Something isn't right. Why are we triple, double, quadruple numbers? It's crazy. We have to do something. And those some things that we have to do to fix this problem right now, I believe is starting with education. Educating people all over again in a simple way so that we can all understand what it is, how it really affects us, what we have to do, how can we prevent, why we have to get into treatment if we are infected. Why, why do we really have to get in treatment? Like there's so many reasons of talking more about it, talking about different topics, not just condoms, get tested, that's it. No, why are we getting tested? What are we testing for? So, I know we have a long way to go. And I know people think, oh, it's 2016. I didn't even realize that, yeah. It's so much more you guys don't realize and I cannot wait to have more time to share that with you. Like it's so many things. And I just wanted to really just come in, give you guys some stats on where we're at as of today, as a people, as a race, and how we gotta change, man. Like, but I know we can do it. We are fighters, and I hope to help in the area of education and why we should go get our status. 